Hello, my name is Aran Elinav. I'm a researcher uh, here at the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel and also the director of the newly um, generated cancer microbiome division at the DKFZ uh, in Heidelberg, uh, Germany. On uh, November 9th, uh, 1989, when the Berlin Wall fell, I was uh, deep in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, practicing together with my um, military submarine uh, unit um, as part of my mandatory service in the Israeli Defense Force. I wanted to become either a basketball player or a physician. The basketball part uh, didn't quite uh, work out, but I did become a physician and I'm um, integrating uh, lots of medicine into our uh, research in trying to solve big human problems. Um, our research um, breaks walls by focusing on the study of the microbiome, a huge, complex, and poorly understood microbial world within a world that um, lives within our body from the moment we are born until the moment we die. In the last decade, uh, microbiome research has generated a revolution uh, in uh, both medicine and basic science by um, succeeding to explain how these microbes that peacefully live within our body uh, may contribute to our health or to the risk of developing many multifactorial and common uh, human diseases. And this uh, revolution um, introducing, introduces the possibility that we would be able to uh, intervene through these microbes that uh, live within us in developing new uh, modalities of treatment for cureless human uh, disorders. Um, in our research, uh, we were able to reach some uh, innovative and exciting uh, new discoveries by mechanistically showing for the first time that our internal gut microbes, which we call the microbiome, substantially impact the course and deterioration in a devastating and cureless neurodegenerative disease called ALS. We were able to prove and to discover that distinct gut microbes secrete small molecules which swim to the brain where they can impact brain function and modulate and even slow down the development of ALS. And even more excitingly, we were able to show, at least in preliminary findings, that some of these molecules potentially improve ALS are missing in the brains of human ALS patients. Um, we've discovered ways to intervene through our mi gut microbes um, uh, which may provide a set of new treatments for this devastating and uncurable um, disease. Uh, we would uh, potentially be able to introduce a new set of solutions for this currently uncurable and deadly uh, disease. And of course, this uh, would provide a great uh, um, um, asset and, and a great improvement for society. In this uh, work, we've extensively uh, explored the connection between the microbiome and ALS in both animal models and in a group of uh, ALS uh, human patients and their healthy household members. And, and we've shown that uh, we can intervene um, through various checkpoints um, in the microbiome to uh, potentially improve uh, ALS scores. Uh, what really uh, remains unanswered and, and really wakes me up at night at, sometimes um, is whether we can intervene in the same manner in human uh, ALS disease. And to do so, uh, we are now um, engaged in a multinational clinical trial that is aimed to use all the techniques that we've uh, developed and published um, in this uh, um, ALS paper um, in order to see whether we can reach the same capacity to alter a disease course and to improve ALS um, through the microbiome uh, in human patients.
which I think that uh, currently my mother and my family are quite pleased and maybe even a little bit proud on the way uh, by which I succeeded to integrate all the expertise and experience that I gained as a clinical physician with the knowledge that um, I currently possess as a basic researcher in trying to study and to come up with possible solutions to common human disease.